over 17 years of horse racing action. The Sport of Kings, featuring Tommy Wolski. On today's show, courtesy of our friends at HRTV, we relive Russell Bays in his drive for the all-time riding title. We look at the career of Lost in the Fog. We step into the Santa Anita starting gate. We'll check in on the long history of the San Juan Capistrano. And now here he is, BC's ambassador to the world of horse racing, Mr. Tommy Wolski. When we first began this program back in 1992, our goal was to show you what goes on behind the scenes of horse racing, not only here in British Columbia, but also throughout North America. Well, that time has finally come thanks to our partners in Southern California, HRTV. The following piece you're about to watch was presented to us by, once again, HRTV. First up on today's program, we look back at the amazing career of Lost in the Fog and the love by his connection for this wonderful race off, Lost in the Fog. Lost in the Fog captured the imagination of the public and the hearts of his owner and trainer after rattling off 10 straight wins. Lost in the Fog, remember his name. It's a very impressive debut. He just had a lot of class. You know, champions are full of ability, but it's everything else that goes along with it. And whatever it is, they all have it, and, and he did. Razor sharp to win the Arizona Juvenile. <laughs> It's a great experience. We went all over the country with him. We got him running in Florida, New York, you name it. And everywhere we went, he was the favorite. There was, you know, the anticipation, and it was really exciting. A wonderful trip. Dream come true. The dream ended in New York with a hard fight in the Breeders' Cup. But what Gilchrist didn't know was that their colt by Lost Soldier was fighting a different battle with cancer. I probably will never forgive myself for running that horse the last time I ran him, which was down in Calder. Uh, the horse was not right, and uh, it's not that he was that far wrong. I just knew that he wasn't at his best. I think his greatest race was back at Churchill Downs when he ran the Aristides. And at the time, we know he, he did have those tumors, which we weren't aware of. And he still comes on, and he wins that race with a 109 buyer figure or something. That's absolutely incredible. After he was diagnosed at UC Davis, Lost in the Fog was brought back to the barn to spend his final days at home with the only family he knew. They were actually going to uh, euthanize him the next day. And I got about halfway home, and I just said, you know, I just can't let that happen. And I went back and the horse was there and he kind of looked up at me and uh, if he could have talked, he just said, hey, you know, there's a few good days left here. You know, everyone treated him really good, gave him all the goodies and stuff. And Craig's tack room was full of flowers and apples and carrots from all over the country. It's absolutely incredible. I didn't get a lot of sleep during that month. Uh, I was waking up a lot at night and it was just, because it was becoming apparent to me that I knew the day was gonna come. Hard to believe, you know, because the horse looked good. <laughs> so it, it just didn't kind of didn't sink in at that time that this horse was dying, you know, until the latter last day, actually, I see him. It was an easy decision to make, but it was a hard one to go through with. There was just a couple of us there, and we just laid him down in the stall, and uh, he went, very quietly, and uh, I, I think he knew, and I think he was wanting to go. So uh, he went out just like the warrior that he was. I mean, he, if you would have been in a war, he'd have been the guy you'd want in the foxhole with you, I'll tell you. Lost in the Fog made a lasting impression with his connections, but they were not alone. The discerning eye of the racing community was watching every move. The night only got that Eclipse Award was just un, totally unbelievable. But to have this horse, you know, best sprinter in the whole country, if not the world, you know, that I would be fortunate enough to get that horse was an experience that you, I can't express it to you, that's all. It's, it's why that uh, they only give out one of those Eclipse Awards for each category is because there is only one horse that deserves him. While Gilchrist and Alio dealt with the loss of their star, 
a young colt with a striking blaze stepped in to fill the void. And Smokey Stover blasts clear of Midwesterner. Brought back thoughts of the fog. The first thing when I saw those orange colors come flying around the turn and win by 10. I was ecstatic. I mean, he brought it 108 or something to change. Look at him cruise under a throttle hold. Smokey Stover by six lengths. Certainly this is a good horse, but um, right now he's about 900,000 behind him and a whole bunch of graded races. So he has a whole lot to prove. Smokey would get his chance in the Sunshine Million Sprint against Grade 1 winners Bordenero and Proud Tower 2. And away they go to a good start. We were laying third right where we wanted to be in the garden spot. Smokey Stover now coming with a big run. And as they went into the turn, uh, you could see that Bordenero and, and Smokey Stover were both going to make their move. And I'm thinking, you know, this is a pretty good test right here when you're moving with Bordenero. I started getting really excited, you know. And to see him come on and run like he did. And they can't say he didn't beat anybody today. I think Olas the Fog might have been up there today and give this horse a little kick in the butt there about the quarter pole. You know, he'd have been proud of him. While Smokey Stover jumped up and captured their imagination, Lost in the Fog is never very far from their thoughts. Lost in the Fog is one in a million. He's in a, he's in a class by himself. And then we think of all the others. This is a good horse, but he, I mean, Lost in the Fog was the greatest. Lost in the Fog wins in the sunshine. He just elevated everybody's game around the barn, including mine. And uh, there's not a day that, that goes by that I don't think about him. I still haven't put another horse back and install six in my barn, I can tell you that. Don't go away. The Sport of Kings will be right back.